Hey guys, today I want to talk a little bit about baby powder. Some of you are probably saying, what the hell is Steve talking about now? <laughs> and let me tell you a little bit about something about baby powder in the Philippines. Before I leave the house, I bought one of those powder things. It's a plastic container. It's got like a, uh, it looks like a big piece of cotton. You smash it against your face or your legs or your arms so you can powder yourself. Okay? Let me tell you something. It's key over here. It's important. I'm going to tell you why. If you ever notice when you go into a pool and you stay in there for a long time, your skin starts getting kind of prunish like. It starts getting, it's not in a good way, it just kind of prunes up. Well, if you're sweating, your skin starts breaking down, it starts growing bacteria, and it can start peeling over here. Philip, the Philip, any place that's really hot and sticky and humid is awful for some people in their skin. Now, some people don't have that type of skin, okay? A lot of darker people don't have the same problems that, that us whiter folks have, okay? And Filipinos don't have that issue like a lot of Americans and Irish and Swedish, like they have when they come over here, okay? Anybody of the fairer skin needs to use powder over here. And it's not gonna be a lifesaver 100%. But well, let me tell you something. The, drier you, the longer you keep your skin drier, the better off you are. There's two things I usually do when I'm walking about. I always usually have a towel with me to wipe the sweat off to kind of keep my skin dry. And before I leave, I usually put a bit of powder on. So I'll stay dry at least for a little bit, okay? As soon as I get home, I take a shower and I repowder. It's important. You start getting skin issues over here, it's hard to get rid of. And you're gonna regret it later on once you start getting these issues like psoriasis or any of these other issues, dermatitis, uh, prickly heat, all these different issues. And the good thing over here is this, is that they have different types of baby powder over here. Most of them don't really smell like baby powder. They actually have kind of a nice, kind of adult smell rather than that baby powder smell that we're used to that we think of when we handle a baby. But anyway, they have different ones. They have one that comes in a yellow container, it's prickly heat, and they have several others that are good for keeping you cool. One's like a green container, um, and they have another one also that's good for keeping you cool. I don't know what they put in them, but whatever it is, it works. One of them has some sort of herb in there, okay? And the other one, I'm not sure what it has. All I know is that they work, and they work really good for keeping my skin healthy. I notice when I don't use it, even for a week, my skin starts breaking down. I start having issues again. I have to go get some um, clobetasol, appropriate it, they call it. I think, that's, I think I got the name correct. Anyway, I have to put that on. I have to get the cream, start putting it on, and that usually helps get me back to normal to a certain extent. But your skin is never gonna be 100% over here. Some guys are lucky, you know? AC certainly helps. You know, if you live in an AC most of the day, you're good, you know? But for guys like me who are kinda active, and I try to stay active as much as I can, getting out in the streets, walking. Most of you guys, you guys see me walking around, walking about, doing my thing, you know? And it's all about staying healthy, but like I said, a good part of living in the Philippines is keeping your skin healthy too. And it's hard. It's damn hard, you know? Um, part of that's losing weight. That's why I'm out walking all the time. I have a hard time losing weight. And I don't eat a, a, a terrible large amount of food. I don't. It's the days, the days that I don't exercise that kill me the most for weight over here, okay? It's hard. The gyms close all the time very rarely open I don't get to get to go over there and you know for paying to go to a gym nowadays I mean it's kind of expensive over here still In some ways it's more expensive over here than it is back home granted we have a good gym and it's worth paying for if you can afford it okay and I know the cost of running a gym over here is kind of high I, I realize that you know so sometimes I'll pay for a month maybe two months, you know, and go to the gym when I can. But with the lockdowns, it's been terribly hard. 
you know? And some of the gyms around here, they don't have AC. That's kind of a killer for me. I like to go to the gym and enjoy myself. It's kind of hard, you know? Will they have AC someday? Probably. As they get more members and stuff like that, they'll put the AC in, get it up and running, hopefully. I'm hoping that the gym near my house puts in a pool, you know? It's a great gym, it's a great place to go. You know, actually this channel, we sponsor them too, to help them out, because I know that they're running into a lot of issues with the lockdowns. And hopefully, you know, they can open 100% and not have any more of these issues. It's gotta be coming soon, God willing, you know? But guys, stay on top of your skin. Remember that. If you're always out over here, out and about, you risk mosquito bites, you risk lice. <laughs> that's, a, that's a terrible thing. I've been fortunate with that one. I've never had lice over here. But I see people with lice over here. If you ever walk up around Manila, if you ever sit and watch people in the markets, you'll see a girl sitting down and you'll see another girl going through her hair. And you'll see them picking things out and throwing things on the ground. It's usually they're picking lice out of people's hair. And it doesn't mean that they're dirty. It means that the place that they come from is just not good. You know, lice doesn't mean you're dirty. But be careful about being around people like that because they can, they can, they're pretty contagious. And once those things start off, it's bad news. Same thing with bed bugs, you know? Some people, what they do is they put like powder, baby powder, in the middle of their bed, okay? Or you can put that, I think they call it diamecious earth or something like that. You could spread, spread a little bit of that on your, your bed and it kills them or something. I'm not sure about that one. I heard somebody told me about that on here. I, I do know that any kind of powder, if you put it on your bed, it kills bed bugs, you know? So use stuff like that and it dries them out. It screws up their whole body system so they can't function anymore, you know? So, and you don't need those, anything like that in your bed or in your hair or anything. It has to do with your skin. Again, more skin issues, you know? Over here, there's all kinds of stuff that can go ha happen with your skin. Like I said before, cellulitis, that's the big one. That has to do with having stuff underneath your fingernails and you get a mosquito bite and you scratch it and that bacteria gets underneath your skin and it causes cellulitis, okay? And cellulitis gets into your blood and it's horrendous. It's ter terrible, horrible thing to have. I've had it and once you get it, you're prone to it even more. You're probably gonna keep on getting it. It'll come back at some point. I've had to fight it three times now. Probably because it wasn't gone totally. This last time I was lucky, I think it's gone now. I hope, God willing, that it's gone for good. But anyway guys, take care of your skin. Also, my doctor was telling me this. She says the best thing that you could do for your skin is to put on lotion first. Let that lotion dry in the AC. Let it all dry out. When you're all done doing that, then put the powder on. Will it make you look a little bit whiter? Yeah, it will. Then you brush it off, you know, and it'll still stay behind and keep you somewhat dry. Or you can leave it like that. I don't care what people think. I might look like a ghost, but hey, at least I'm a dry ghost, you know? I mean, sometimes I look at my legs when I'm walking through the mall. My legs look all white from the powder or my arms. I don't put too much on my face, but I really don't care, you know? People look at me kind of funny. It's like, hey, at least I'm dry, you know? And I feel cooler because of that, because of the, the powder, you know? And you know what, at the end of the day, my skin is much better for it. Anyway guys, not, an interest, not a very interesting subject, but it's a healthy subject, okay? It's just a tip from me. You know, like I said, if you're out and about and you're out in the humid weather all day, Prep for it. Be ready. Stay safe, guys. God bless. Love you guys.